Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, good Hi, evening. Jesse. How are you today? Well, how are you tonight? Hi. I'm pretty good. And you? Doing you. great. Oh, I don't see you, Alexandra. I know who you are. I remember your face. <laughs> okay. I don't see you. Let me second, please. Sure. Fernando. Is this your first class, Fernando? The second. Second class, all right. Roberto, yes. I remember Fatima. Okay. Where do you live, guys? Well, I live in Santa Tecla. Libertad. What part? What part in Santa Tecla? It's close to Plaza Marriott. Um, yeah, Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. Santa Monica. Okay, there is a place which is you have the gas station. You turn yeah. left. It's near to yeah. That street. Okay, I have a friend who lives there, so I kind of know the area. But I imagine it was Santa Tecla. <laughs> what about you, Fernando? Uh, right now, I am in San Miguel City. Oh, so far away from the. Yes. <laughs> is it hot? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, it gets hot pretty often. Let me see who else. Hey, Roberto. Roberto, Corleto. Can't hear you probably. I don't know. Where do you live, Roberto? I'm just curious. I live in San Salvador. What part? Uh, near of uh, Costa Rica. Mm, okay, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know that well. All right, so you can say Logical. near near the zoo, right? Yeah, oh. near the zoo. Yes. Awesome. Okay, let's begin. We're going to start with section 1.10. Okay, so... Paul, can you read the objective, please? No, no, well, Ramiro, can you read the objective, please? Remember, you're on mute. There you are. Okay. In this class, you will deliver skills in guessing main in front context and for a specific information yeah you will develop say develop okay, okay. very good guys we're going to practice reading okay but this is the way we will do this so everyone go to section let's go to section 1.11 okay and we're going to take turns to read this. So, for example, one person will read the first paragraph. Um, the other person will read the next one. So you take turns reading paragraphs, okay? And when you finish reading, use your best pronunciation. If you listen that your partner is making a pronunciation mistake, correct him or her, please. And then when you finish reading, answer the questions. As in pairs, okay? So okay. what are we going to do? Carla Molina, tell us. Uh, we are going to read um, everyone a part of. Mm -hmm. And if someone make a mistake, we will correct it. And then we answer the, the questions. Yes. Make sure you read out loud. Okay. Out loud so uh, we can hear you. We're going to work in pairs. I will send a picture of this, but I would prefer if you go to the platform and not read from the picture, but from the platform, please. So section 1.11, uh, accept the invitation, let's work in pairs. Here we go, let's practice. Accept the invitation, click on accept, tap accept.
a needle. What happened? <laughs> Let me send you another invitation. Did you get it? I don't hear you. Okay, teacher. Okay, there you are. Jacqueline, I'm gonna send you an invitation as well. Accept the invitation, Jacqueline. Did you get it? Hi guys, are you reading? Yeah, I'm trying to yes. get in. <laughs> Ya vienen a grabarnos. All the class is recorded. Ok, usted me dijo que iba a tener su nombre hoy, ¿verdad? ¿O no fue usted? Ajá, you didn't keep your word. Tiene razón. ¿Eh? ¿Es Eduardo? No. Eduardo. Ah, ok, I remember. You're forcing me. Now I know where I have seen you before. Oh my gosh, where? Yeah, on YouTube. Really? How did you see me there? Yeah. That's why um, see me there? I was in your face and where I had seen that girl. <laughs> where have I seen? <laughs> but how did you see me? How did you come across my videos? Okay, because I'm always saying kind of, I just seen English with, with Ronnie. Ah. Uh, oh my so, gosh, are you kidding me? So after you saw Ronnie, yeah. you saw me. Ah, that's yeah. great. That's great. I like that. Thank you. Subscribe, yeah. please. It's so good. <laughs> no, but I'm I look different. You. Look, I'm a mess. In these classes, I'm a mess. I don't. <laughs> that's awesome. I did it very good. Oh, thank you. Hey, Eduardo, you know what? In this group, I saw a girl, right? And I said, I know you. And she's like, okay, I don't know you. And I said, where did you study? Tell me. She told me, oh, at Speak. And I said, yes, I know you. You were my best friend student. I said, so this world is really small, Eduardo. Okay. <laughs> we have a small I world, so. I told you. Carla, I think maybe you you can read okay. this. Okay. Because Ramiro is frozen. Mm -hmm. It's frozen. These days, many people don't know their, their neighbors. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we share a friendly... Okay. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, Patrick. The family across the street never dreams up the yard. The garbage blow into your yard. Okay. But Jacqueline, uh, did you find the the article? Who are you trying to read with, with Jacqueline? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Jacqueline, I think it's section 1.11 or um, or send her a picture, please, if you can, send her the picture so that we can make progress. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks. Take extreme measures to fix a problem, you should discuss it with them first. Ramiro, could you please read this paragraph? Maybe he does not listen. Uh -huh. Okay. Carla, if you if you're okay, okay could you please when you approach your, ne your neighbors, you should talk to them in a friendly manner. Compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Then explain the situation and if you can think of a simple solution, suggest it. Okay. Okay. If talking doesn't work, ask another person to help. This person.
I can hear you juggling. She's on mute. There you are, Jacqueline. All right. Yes. Uh, yes. The woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. This, this point. Okay. The family across the street never cleans up their yard. The garbage blows into your yard. The guy next door always parks his car in front of your driveway. Mm -hmm. Your turn, have things like have things like like this never happened to you. If so, you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they going these things to me? These days, many people don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly wave or say hello, but a lot of people don't even know their neighbors' names. Maybe best to just stay away, stay out of your neighbor's ways. Okay, to just stay out. Best to just stay out of your neighbor's way. That sounds way better. You're still ready. Right. If talking doesn't work as another person to help, this person can listen to good side of the story. <laughs> Aquí sí te lo hacen a propósito. Con dolo. Is Carla helping you? Hi. Carla, you have really bad internet tonight. Bye. Don't worry. I think this is the problem. Yeah. Well, as long as you can you hear, know. as long as you can hear them, that's fine. Are you almost done, guys? I have done my homework. The exercises you finished? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. Good. I guess we're going to go back now. Okay. All right, how many of you finished? <laughs> Carla finished. Who else? Ah, I don't see you. Me. Oh. Because I, I deal with Carla. <laughs> <laughs> I think only the two of you finished. Anyway, if those answers I would like you to answer later if you couldn't finish, all right? Because now we're going to move on. The best thing is that you were able to practice reading. And every time you read in general, I would like you to do that, okay? Read out loud. So, section two. Can you read the, the objective, please? Carla, no, no, not Carla, can't you? Let me see. Jacqueline, read the objective, please. In this class, you will practice using infinitives and gerunds for uses and, and purpose. And purposes. Purposes. Right. Very good. So, everyone, have your notebook ready, please. Have it handy. And let's write some of these. Okay. Write down the structure. Take close attention, let's watch. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. 
As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change, what changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Okay, let's see how the structure Quiero works. Quiero que pienses en un tema. Okay, so we're going to use two and four. All right, when you have two, how are you going to conjugate the verb? In base form. Exactly, this is going to be in the base form. And when you use four, how are you going to conjugate it? In gerund with uh, the gerund form meaning ing, right? And the meaning is basically the same. So we're going to say, um, I use my, my laptop. I can say two or I can say four, right? So guys, tell me, share with me, what do you use your laptop for? To do my homework to do homework. What else? I I use my laptop for, uh, sorry, to, to work. You can say for work. Working. The thing is, yeah, we need a, I need a, a verb, not a noun. It will work, it's okay. For working, what else? Play. 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 <laughs> yeah. Here you cannot use ing. Don't forget, all right? Uh -huh. Play yeah. or somebody else. For reading books. For teach, teaching. For teaching. Oh, I have a teacher here. Who's a teacher? Okay. Nobody. I thought <laughs> somebody said for teaching. So, okay. Two. I use my laptop too. Yeah, in my case to teach, right? What else? One more. Chatting with my friends. Very good. For chatting with or my friends. Movies. With my friends. Or watching movies. So many things you can use it for. All right. What am I typing? Now, I'm going to give you a list of things and I would like you to use both. Use both so that you can get used to, to the two of them. I'm gonna give you some items, okay? We're gonna say your smartphone. Everybody has a smartphone, right? <laughs> Who uses yes. their smartphone for, uh, for studying English, for being in class? Who's using their phone? Paul, mm -hmm. are you using your phone? Eduardo, I think. Eduardo? You're using your phone? Yeah, all the way. <laughs> all right, five years ago, would you have thought that you were going to be using your phone to be in class? No, right? No. No, oh, <laughs> well, imagine. Paper. We would have never imagined we were going to be using your phone for being in class. Never. <laughs> but you see, it's technology. Now we're gonna say a smartphone, a credit card, in your, oh, English, what do you use it for? <laughs> okay. Also your money, what do you use it for? Or two, then your car, if you have a car, or you can say public transportation if it's, if it's the case. 
I know right now you're not using public transportation, guys, but in general, right? Transportation, yeah. And what do you use your? That's about it. All right, let's discuss Fine. this. Give me two more ideas, guys, because this is too short. I run up out of ideas. Let's say your kitchen, what do you use it for? One more thing. Alexandra, are you saying something? Fine. Internet. Or your the internet. Mm. And one more. Mm -mm. Well, no, I can't think of any social media or I don't know. Oh yeah, technology will be could be social media. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's discuss using two and four. Take a screenshot of this. I'm also gonna take one and send it to the group. Guys, feel free to send pictures to the group related to the class, of course, to share with anybody. All right, let's practice. So um, explain what you use each one of these for or two and make it personal. So real information, please. Ready? Okay. Okay, we're going to work in groups of three this time. Here we go. Let's practice. Acceptation, please. <laughs> Ramiro and Ricardo, are you here? Yeah, accept the invitation, please, Ramiro. If you're okay, I can start. Yes, please. Okay. Well, I use my smartphone. Are you guys practicing? Hi, Noem. Hi, sorry, I came late to the class. I don't know what should I do. What you should do? Well, Fernando is here and Ramiro, I believe. Mm -hmm. Fernando, what are we going to do? Uh, sorry, but I can I cannot listen very well. Oh, you couldn't hear well either? Uh, right now, yes, but when you explain, I don't know, when you explain the, that, uh, I suppose we are going to use ing and the preposition to, right? Yeah, I use one of these for mm -hmm. an ing. Or if you use to, I use one of these to and the verb in the base form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, I I use my car to <clears throat> to go to the short the church. I had to go to church. Okay. What about you, Noem? I use my credit card for paying my bills. Right. Very good. And Ramiro. Oh, Ricardo is also here. But I think Ramiro and Ricardo are having issues with their internet. Ramiro, your turn. No, okay, no, and Fernando, only the two of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I use public transportation for. No. For going to my work. Mm -hmm, that's perfect. Hey, Noe, are you able to turn your camera on? Ah, okay. No problem. Sorry. Yes, in every class. So, because okay. Fernando is not. Ah, there you are. I saw you last night. 
Okay, uh, I use the kitchen for cooking my bread box. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And also, also, I I use my cell phone to send to, for sending email. Yeah. Okay. Email, all right. For sending emails, yes, that was perfect. What? With credit card, uh, I use my credit card to pay the supermarket. Right. To pay, maybe to pay for the groceries. The groceries. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The groceries, actually. To, to okay. pay groceries, supermarket. To pay for the groceries, right. Yep. To pay. Very, 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 very good. Hmm. To pay yeah. groceries. To pay for mm -hmm. groceries. Mm -hmm. And then I use my credit card for uh, paying groceries. In the supermarket or at the supermarket? No, groceries. Groceries at? Or in you can say the at the supermarket. supermarket. At. <laughs> at. Uh, at. Check, uh, for positions, yes, that's what it is. We're going to go back now. All right. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, did you practice? Yes. 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 Great. Is it is it good now? Do you have questions about that topic? No. 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 It's easy, right? Okay. Just make sure you don't uh, mix it up, and you'll be all right. I want us to play a game. Okay. This is the game. Look. Anybody can participate, and then you're gonna play in in, in pairs. All right, let me show you. So I want you to use this structure. You're going to ask a yes, no question and say, is it, right? Is it, for example, is it yellow? But make sure you're saying, is it like, like this, okay? Is it yellow? And you say, no, it's not. So look, I'm going to give you an example. It's kind of a basic game, but you can have some fun. So I'm going to think... And actually, I will write it so you know I'm not cheating. I will think of an object, okay? And we can talk about the use, the shape, and some characteristics of it. For example, I'm writing my answer. I'm thinking of an object, and you're going to make questions until you know what object I'm thinking about. You only have one opportunity. For example, you can say, is it used? for cutting paper, okay, or is it used to cut paper? And I will say, no, it's not. So it's definitely not a scissor, right? A pair of scissors, okay? Or you can talk about the characteristics, but no, let's focus on the, the use. Okay, so the, uh, this type of question, is it used to or for, all right? That's the question. So look, I already have my object. You can ask me questions, guys. And try to guess what object, what object I'm thinking about. Okay, anybody? Okay, it has numbers. Um, does it have numbers? First, let's start with the use. Let's start with this. Oh, okay. So that we can practice the topic. Is it used for or is it used? To talk about the purpose first. Uh -huh. Is it used to open doors? Very good question. So is it used to open doors? No, it's not. 
more questions, more questions. Is it used to fly? Yes. To fly? <laughs> um, you don't really use this to fly. <laughs> because uh, there's a fly. <laughs> Maybe. We can imagine, okay, but okay. <laughs> it's used to drink? No, it's not. It's used for giving the time? For telling the time? No, it's not. Is it used use it to hold in papers? To hold papers? No, it's not. In a way, you know, in a way it is. Is it used, it is used for, for celebrating for uh, Mother's Day? No, it's not used for celebrating Mother's Day. I don't think so. <laughs> what did you say, Eduardo? It's used for, for doping? Say, sorry, is it used? Because it's a question, right? Is it used? Is it used uh, at the office? Yes, it is. Used to hold papers? Is it used to hold papers? Yes, yes it is. Now you can ask about details. You can ask about the color, for example. Because there is a dilemma right now. Is it, is it right red? Now. Yes, is it, it is red. red. It is red. Mm -hmm. so is it the yellow and red? <laughs> Say, is it a stapler? <laughs> is it a stapler? Yes, it is. Look, I wrote it here. Yes. Staple. Huh. Staple there. There. That's the right answer. Very good. You guessed it. Okay, so you're going to do the same in pairs, all right? I'm going to send you, look, but I'm going to send you a difficult one. This is easy. Here you have more objects. So you need to ask a lot of questions quickly and take turns, all right, until you guess the, the object. Are you ready to play? Okay, these pictures I'm gonna send to WhatsApp. So check WhatsApp, think of an object, guess it, and then the other person will think of an object and guess it. Take turns, let's do that quickly, all right? Ready? Okay. All right, let's work in pairs. I'll send you the pictures, give me one second, and here we go. There, accept this, please.
is it used to to write? To write. Yes, yes. Pencil. Nay. Well, uh, I, I, how do you say uh, basurero in English? Dump? It's a waste basket. Uh -huh, um, waste basket. A, a yes. trash can. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. It's your turn. No. To sit? No, no. Uh, to and no. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Uh, the desk? Is the desk? Mm, no. Uh, is it the desk? It is, it, is it for all questions? Is it okay? Is it used for um, see a video for in seeing. your hand? Remember, after four, ing for seeing, uh, for seeing a video, uh, the keyword, keyword, all right, yes, keyword. yes, yay, oh, so write it, <laughs> difficult. Good job. You're up. Yeah. All right, I sent another image. Let's do the other image. Another image. Mm -hmm. That one's easier because we only have six places. Hola. Oh, okay. Oh, can I'm you not. Hear Ricardo? No. Right now, yes. Okay, now you can. Okay, work with the second image if you may, please. Okay. No. Okay, is to, to um to holding hold for holding books. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Roberto say no, it's not. No, it's not. And then when you finish no, it's not. When you finish work with the second image, okay? Carla, if you tried everything, now you can ask okay. about colors or the characteristics. So you can find the answer. Ah, uh, son dos. Is the color, is the color blue? <laughs> is it blue? 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 Mm -hmm. No, is it? No, it isn't. Uh, ver la imagen y, y dar como pistas. Como el ejemplo que hicimos. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, I will choose one and you ask me questions so that we can make progress. Sí. Right? Ok. So, let me choose an image, uh, an object from the second image. And... Uh -huh. I'm ready. Go ahead, Alexander. Okay. <laughs> Is it used to no. take a shower? No, I'm it's not. Done. You wouldn't do that there. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it used to sleep? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's oh, wrong. Easy. That's the best. <laughs> uh -huh. That's too easy. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. now from the second one, uh, choose an object, Ricardo, from the first image. Yeah. You got it? Yes, all right. Let's ask questions. Go ahead. Me or Ricardo? No, you will ask the questions and Ricardo will choose an object. Ah, okay. Is it, is it used to a study? To read, Ricardo. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, we're gonna See, go back now. Yeah. Go back. <laughs> okay, you guys finished. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Did you practice making questions for purpose? 
four ing two base friends. I think with this, it's hundred percent clear, isn't it? <laughs> yep. All right. Yes. I will take that as a yes. So let's do this exercise in number one, Alexandra. Okay. One. Satellites are used. And oh, the options. Okay. Satellites. And <laughs> I didn't know you write the same in Spanish. So let's say satellites. 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 Are used to, are used, and the options are to study the world's weather, to study the world's weather, to study the world's weather. Okay, I'll take that one. Fernando? Uh, robots are sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks. Guys, the pronunciation of that is like this, look. Uh, used, like this, right? Used. 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 It sounds like this. Used. Used. Right. So, keeping that in mind, let's say it again. Fernando? Robots are sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks. Tasks. At the end. Task. Task. Yeah, that's good. Three. Fatima. Fatima Spinoza. You you can use a cell phone to send text messages. Great. Uh, Paul. You're on mute. Hello. Hi. Uh, people use the internet. People use the internet for make travel for making travel reservation. Very good. Next, Carla Chang. I, I, okay, number five. Mm -hmm. DNA fingerprint is used to identify criminals. Number one. To identify criminals. Forget no eh? Number six. No, eh? Don't the rooms are used for storing an encyclopedia. Oh, that's an old example. For storing. For storing an encyclopedia. Let's check. Everything should be right, and it is. Yay. Great job. So with this, we finish this topic. All right, so now you know how to express purpose. Okay. And let's see this. Maybe we'll have time. Read the objective, please. Patricia Aleman. Patricia. We don't hear her. Okay. Participants will notice and practice stress in work with more than two syllables. More than two syllables. All right, let's pay attention to the, the stress. All right, here we go. Pronunciation. Syllable stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? All right. Let's read them. So the stress is on the first syllable, right? Say with me, satellite. 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 Internet. 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 Photograph. 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 All right, now it's on the second syllable, right? Invention. 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 Yes. 
take care of that v right invention like that shun. Invention. 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 invention 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 yes that invention. sound all right assignment assignment um, computer 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 and okay, now this is at the end so city rum city rum city rum near engineer 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 engineer, engineer. Entertain. 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 Very good. Let's do one more round. So satellite. 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 Internet. 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 Photograph. 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 Invention. 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 Assignment. 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 Computer. 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 Engineer, engineer, entertain, entertain, or entertain, like you were saying. Entertain, entertain. Okay, where do you think the stress is here? How would you rate this? Language, 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 language. First, understand. Is the understand. Understand. Hold on. I'm going to put a heart. Where do you think it is? Languages? Languages? Or where do you think it is? First, second, or Language. third? Language. Language. Take it at the beginning. Language. Okay. What in about the beginning? In the yes. beginning. Here. Um, the last one. Stand yeah. In the yeah. final. Okay. Robotic. Robotic. Uh, in the middle. In the middle. I will listen to you and see. Robotic. Mm -hmm. Telephone. Telephone. The first. first. The first. The level. At the beginning. Uh, trans transmission. Transmission. The middle. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. no I, yeah, I, transmission. Yeah, it's wrong. Um, <laughs> the so final. The second one. Transmission. 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 In the Point. middle. Me. Hmm. VCR. VCR. Um, and let's go in R. Right, let's see if those are the right answers. Hold on. Very good. Can you repeat? It's good, right? Yeah. It's exactly what you said. So, great job. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. You did it. That was great. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you have any questions? No. No, all clear. Okay. Yes. Um, we cannot finish this conversation because it's too long. But um, let me see. Let me clear this. Let's see at least what it is about and finish it tomorrow. Okay. So, um, Noe, can you read the objective, please? Okay. In this session, you will practice a conversation about using a cell phone. See imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestion in context. Very good. We are not gonna watch this. I will do that tomorrow, but let's see quickly what an imperative is. What's an imperative, guys? Give me examples or an explanation, something. What are they? I remember uh, for um, give an order or suggestion. To give orders or, or suggestions, yes, mm -hmm. that's perfect. And how do you conjugate it? For example, use the verb should. Should. Mm, mm, okay, hold on, let me do something. Pay attention, guys, because we're about to finish. I need you to give me some verbs, any verbs you can think of. Go ahead. Play. Okay. Mm -hmm. Run. Buy. Go. Go. Sleep. Sleep. Go. Do. Go. Do. 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 Sleep. Homework. <laughs> Sleep. I would say stand mm. up. Okay. So look, guys, this is the imperative. 
simple as that. That's a conjugation. So I say, hey guys, stand up. And simple as that, mm -hmm. I'm giving you an instruction. So you don't need to mm -hmm. conjugate the verb. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, play. Okay. Yeah, it, can, it doesn't sound so polite if you say, hey, cook something. <laughs> right? I'm the queen. No. <laughs> but yes, this is the imperative. And if you want to make it negative, all you have to do is you have to put something in front of it. What is it? I say, mm -mm. how do you say that? Can't I play? Don't. Don't no, play. Don't. All right. So you simply, if you want to make it negative, simply put don't at the beginning of it. So in front of the verb. And this is already cool. negative. So you say stand up, don't stand up. Tell me a negative form. Run, negative? Don't run. Don't run. Very good. Fight. Don't, don't fight. fight. Very good. Go and don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Yeah, so that song is using imperatives. Okay, in the negative form. Simple as this, but we will learn <laughs> this and study it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, are we good? Okay. No, thank thank you. you. <laughs> thank you very much for joining me, guys. It was a pleasure seeing you, and I really hope to see you tomorrow, as always. Hopefully. Great, thank okay. you, Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye, all. Thank you. Good night. Good night.